In a recent European court ruling, Google was told that they do not have a right to keep personal information about their users. Uh, to that end, Google created a forget personal information. You could sort of opt out of your personal information. So the headline now reads that 41,000 people have already opted to have Google forget their personal information. Google is shocked <laughs> about that. If you want Google to forget your personal information, and here's, here's a problem, and here's a problem that I have. When you use Google a lot, when you use uh, Google a lot, search Google, Google, Google search engine is tailored to make money for Google. So what do they do? They have advertisements on their Google search engine pages. They then keep your data of what you look at, what you shop for, and they create a profile for you secretly uh, in a robot. When you go do your searches then, they then tailor your searches to fit you. So if you are a single mom, single black mom, and you go do searches, they're going to go, ah, Shaniqua. Okay, I'm sure that you really want to see uh, all of these rappers and you want to see all of this uh, alcohol on your page. So when you search for watermelon, you're not going to get a page full of how to grow watermelon or what's the best way to keep watermelon in, in the house. You're going to get Watermelon Vodka, Watermelon, the latest CD album uh, by uh, Little little Stupid. That's what you're going to get. If I were to do the same search, I'm going to get Watermelon. Three children died uh, from a watermelon attack. Fifteen ter terrorists survived on Watermelon alone for 30 days uh, in the desert of uh, Afghanistan. Because it's going to be tailored to me. I do a lot of news report searches, international searches. If me, Shaniqua and I were to sit side by side and type in the same exact words, Shaniqua will never see what I see. Never. In a million years. I may or may not see what she sees if, the, if, if there's some sort of rapper with a new album and it's considered news, I might be able to see it. So what this does is literally gets rid of the profiles that Google keeps on everybody. So then if you type in watermelon seeds, you're going to get watermelon seeds. You're not going to get the latest album that dropped from little, little uh, Bo Diddley or little left toe or whatever. You're going to get an actual literal translation in the search engine of watermelon plus seeds. I'm really, I think it's comical that Google is shocked that people would want to have their personal information removed off of their uh, robots. Tell me what you think about that and please like the video. It really helps my channel if you like it. Let's have a 50% like rate, okay? Thank you.